The movie begins with a man telling kids a story because he has no life. A story of a monster. Mm -hmm. Shut the baby up. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Why are you crying? So a group of Romani people immigrate to Paris. Only to get arrested because if you ain't white, it's a crime. I'm not even kidding. The word Roma or Romani is not even used in the film once, but instead they're called gypsies, which is an actual slur and insult to describe Romani people. Man, Disney in 96 was wildin'. So a mother runs away with her baby chased by Judge Frollo. Yeet. Oh. The hell is this? <gasps> A monster. Oh, I should dump it in the well. I am pro-choice. Stop. Man, I'm doing this ugly baby a favor. Lies. You're a murderer and God is watching you. Really, bruh? What must I do? Care for the child. Ugh, very well. So Judge Frollo raises the child and makes him the bell ringer. But as he grows up, he's forbidden to step foot outside. You know, it's pretty sad. His mom died from getting yeeted. His name is Quasimodo with the only wish to see the yearly festival. Poo, pla, meh. And his friends being stones, they encourage him to sneak out. You're right. Man, screw Frollo. I do what I want. Good morning, ugly. Uh, morning, master. I know you have no friends, so why are you talking? Let's do the alphabet. B, bitches. P, peasants. Good. F, fun. <laughs> Excuse me? Festival. Hell no. Oof. Now Frollo forbids Quasi to step outside the tower by telling him the world is cruel and because he's ugly, it's for his own good that he stays inside. And tells Quasi his mom tried to drown him as a baby and was saved by him, which is a lie used to make Quasi obey out of gratitude. When it's actually Frollo that murdered his mom and tried to drown him. I'm sorry. Good boy. Meanwhile, we're introduced to Phoebus who encounters Esmeralda. Well, damn. I'm horny. Huh? Wait, my money. Hi, I'm racist. Hey, give me that. Seki. Ooh, la la la. And Phoebus helps. Oh. Sorry, naughty horse. Naughty. Thank you. Peasant. And turns out Phoebus is a captain that was sent to Paris from Frollo. Uh, hello? You sent me? Welcome, captain. You see this? Anyone who's not white needs to be arrested. Because only whites are pure. Yo, I'm be honest. If I didn't know what a gypsy was, then I would think Frollo just wanted to get rid of all the dancers in Paris. But because it's referring to ethnicity, that's kind of crazy. They're like ants. What are we going to do about it, sir? We kill them. So Frollo is a judge and a minister of justice who's been getting rid of Romani people with the reason being their culture of hedonistic ways corrupts the people of Paris bringing out their lowest instincts. And because his title is a judge, he sees himself as a righteous man that can do no wrong. Pretty much playing the role of God, passing down judgment on who he sees fit. Meanwhile, Frollo sneaks out anyway because he the naughty boy. What the hell? What am I looking at? What is this? How <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry. You all right? Let me see your face. No. Ugh. No harm done. Wait, she doesn't think I'm ugly? Oh, and by the way, great mask. And from that moment he knew his dream is to become a simp. So she basically says, you're so ugly, your face can't be real. It's a mask. And bro's like, hee hee hee, thank you. And when Frollo arrives, he sees Esmeralda. He's like, damn, shoddy. I guess he never saw a woman dance before. I do the splits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As the festival holds the ugliest man competition. So Esmeralda, brings Quasi up. Oh. Boo! Yeet, 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 yeet. Here, let me take this off. Huh? That's his face. Nani? <gasps> uh, I'm ugly. But he gets awarded as the winner and the crowd celebrates. And this is the part that confuses me because the film clearly shows the public celebrating for Quasi. But when an officer gives him a tomato, the public then goes from <gasps> to then laughing at him, tying him up and joining in on throwing things at him. So when you were applauding him earlier, was that all fake and laughing at his appearance is how you really feel? Then Esmeralda's like, hmm? Master, help me. <laughs> I request permission to stop this cruelty. A lesson needs to be learned here. What lesson? That if you're ugly, you deserve to be humiliated? The fuck? What is wrong with all of you? Zombie afraid. Ugh. Man, poor dude is so traumatized, he thinks she's gonna hurt him. But instead, she shows kindness. Well, to be fair, you are the one that brought him up on stage. You there! Get down! After I set him free! I forbid it! Womp womp! Arrest her! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Witchcraft. To the loom, mother bitch. Ah! And Esmeralda dips. Oopsie. You said I'ma whip you when we get back. I'm sorry, master. And with Quasi traumatized, he goes back to the tower. And the captain sees Esmeralda go into the same tower, which is a cathedral called Notre Dame. Um, hi there. Bitch, I kill you. Girl, who are you talking to? Clang, clang, clang. Ooh. I ain't trying to arrest you. Then why don't you just say that? So what do you want? Your name? Esmeralda. Wait, is he trying to riz you up? Way prettier than my name. And just like that, they're gonna make out? Like they literally got each other's names and bang, just like that, they go for it. But Frollo shows up and tries to arrest her and the priest is like, nah. -uh. You promise to respect the church. <laughs> if only I didn't kill that woman. I'm ninja. And Phoebus is escorted out. <laughs> 
I do the Joe Biden. What are you doing? Get off, weirdo. So Frollo then says the moment she steps foot outside the church, she will get arrested, which means she is now in a prison. Yo, this scene is so funny. So the priest welcomes her, meaning all groups and races of people are welcome in the church. But when Frollo comes and sees Esmeralda, they're like, hey, you don't belong here. So even the church, which is accepting of all people, discriminates towards the ugly. That's crazy. Then Esmeralda chases Quasi. Don't run away from me. Uh, I need to do chores. So, uh, oh, ah. Uh. Oh, he got that shy riz. Wow, this your crib? You like it? What's this? No, you bastard. And because Esmeralda appreciates his work, Quasi gives her a tour. Look at me, I'm Tarzan. Come, come, look at this. Am I a good boy, mommy? So Quasi says Frollo told him all Romani people are evil and that he's so ugly he'll never be accepted into society. So Esmeralda changes his mind to tell him he's not a monster and she's not evil because of her ethnicity. And he's like, huh? I'm not a monster? And because she helped him, he helps her escape without getting caught. By becoming the wannabe Spider-Man. Uh. I'll never forget you, shawty. Hey, come with me. But this is where I belong. Mwah. I'm your dog, mommy. She then gives him a necklace to use if he ever wanted to find her and dips. And little man is in love. But I'm gonna say this, if you're not interested and don't find him attractive, you shouldn't do too much or it could send the wrong message. Especially when you're about to slobber Mr. Goatee. <laughs> huh? Hi there, have you seen her? Ruff, ruff, she's my Discord kitten. Wait, why can't we share? <laughs> Clang. Uh, she's mine. Go, now. She's very lucky. Why? To have a friend like you. Wait, did this guy say I'm in the friend zone? But his stone friends reassure him. She wants you, bro. Wow, really? No, no. As they hype him up to believe him and Esmeralda will be together. Meanwhile, Frollo sings a song called Hellfire. As he sees himself as a righteous man and yet confesses his lustful feelings towards Esmeralda. A man who declares to be righteous and better than others and yet deep down knows he's a sinner. And this character is extremely well written because many people know a person like this. For example, I know some extremely religious people, not all, who looks down and judges others for how they live. And although they struggle with sin and sin themselves, they continue to judge others despite their religion teaching do not judge so i was shocked to see a character like frollo from disney that is the very embodiment of people who act like this and after finding out esmeralda escaped frollo finds as many romani people he can to bribe them of esmeralda's whereabouts but they ain't no snitch so he puts them all in cages mm -mm -mm. what's going on so you've been sheltering them well this is a homeless shelter i don't care burn it what burn him alive you will follow orders Nah, he's shaky. So he burns it himself. Shit. Oh no, this is terrible as I do nothing. But Phoebus saves the family. Yo, look at the daughter's face. She's like, why are you happy? We're homeless now. What? Then Phoebus gets the death sentence for insubordination. But she's like, no, I'm horny. Wee. Bo. Ba. Wee. Ow, oh my gosh. <gasps> I shall save you, my goatee. And with no sign of her anywhere, Frollo starts sussing out Quasi as the one who helped her escape the tower. Who's a good boy? <sighs> now Quasi's stone friends keep hyping him up that he'll be with Esmeralda, which is essentially the blind leaving the blind. Uh, Quasimodo? <laughs> Shoddy, I knew you'd come back. Can you help me once more? Yes, anything. Wait, huh? He's badly wounded. The fuck? Ugh, Esmeralda. Shh. Take this. Ah, yes. Hey, stay with me, girl. Oh. No, no. Mm. Ah, Shiba. Why am I watching them? Nah, because what's funny is why is he so close to them? Just crying in a corner. So you're telling me at no point they were like, um, could you give us some space or at least see him cry? Then suddenly Frollo shows up, so she escapes again. Entrusting Quasi with Phoebus. Get in there. Ugh, ugh, you bitch. Oh, master, I, 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 I... You're hiding something. Oh. He's sick. <coughs> I know you helped her escape. She was kind to me, man. You idiot. Nobody likes you, even your mama. Then Frollo feels guilty thinking of Quasi's mom, so he doesn't punish Quasi, but tells him he found Esmeralda's hideout and will kill her by tomorrow. Hey, you coming with me? I can't. I thought you were her friend. Yeah, and you're her man, so you do it. Quasi already helped her twice and Goatee is trying to guilt trip him. Man, if I was Quasi, I would have turned to a villain already. Watching the girl you want snog up another man is another level of pain. But he goes to warn her anyway. Ah, ah. And together they use her necklace as a map to find the secret hideout of the Romani people. Only to be seen as spies and get sentenced to death. Wait, they're with me. Immigrants, Frollo's coming. Uh, thank you, Phoebus. You're my daddy. Man, this movie only proves you need to be tall and handsome to get the girl. Doesn't matter how good you are. If you ugly, you are her friend. Then suddenly Frollo shows up. As it turns out, he never knew the secret hideout, but only found it by following Quasi. So everyone gets captured. No! You dare? <laughs> And Quasi gets trapped in the tower. While Esmeralda, accused of witchcraft, gets the sentence, death. No, no. As we then see Frollo's Riz. Choose me 
or the fire. Ugh. All right, she burns. And while Quasi's chained up, Frollo sets her on fire. No! Uh. Simp power unlocked! Now, I want y'all to remember the length of this rope, okay? It's clearly not that long. Now, I'm not an expert on rope, but I know it doesn't magically grow longer. But I'm glad to see good old plot armor to save the day. She's my Discord kitten! And Esmeralda is safe. Ding. Got your keys! Citizens, will you join to fight? For no reason! Okay. And the Romani people are freed and join the fight. Come on, boys. <laughs> now, Quasi and Menace, he's trying to make the soldiers look unrecognizable. But Frollo enters the tower. Have you gone mad? You can't do that. Shut up, you wrinkly mutt. Ooh. Hey, wake up. You're safe now. Uh huh? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, master? What? Die! No, no! Uh, Quasimodo, listen to me. The real bully in my life is people like you! Huh? Esmeralda? She lives. Shing! Stop moving! By the way, I killed your mom. What? Yeah. Yeet! Wait, shit! And even when Frollo is lucky enough to not fall, he still tries to kill her, leading to his death. Hi! Wait, shit! Uh. <laughs> Shardy, don't let go. No, I trusted you. Wait, you saved me? Thank you. Hey, I almost killed you. Yeah, you guys belong together. Mm, maybe they'll let me join in one day. Yo, why is he still watching them? Phoebus and Esmeralda are then seen as heroes, and the film ends with Quasi getting accepted into society. Now, this film teaches us a lot of things, such as do not judge or you too will be judged. Everybody has flaws no matter how righteous they appear to be. It's the tall and handsome one that gets the girl. And there are men out there who will do everything for the girl they want, only to get hurt in the end. And last but not least, if you are ugly, you need to have an amazing personality for people to accept you. The end. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy KC. And yeah, till next time.